Good morning, Divine Masculines. It is 10, 10 a.m. this morning, and we're going to do a reading. And uh, I hope everybody is doing awesome, and I'm doing awesome. Um, everything is going good, and I hope everything is going good for you guys. I actually have two new babies, in addition to my family. My Chewini had puppies, and the father was a poodle so I have chewy poos <laughs> I thought that was real cute so um, let's go ahead and get an archetype card for this reading I hope the divine masculines and anybody else who is in here or all of our divine masculines are doing awesome right because we are divine feminine and divine masculine our divine masculine that's our um you know uh action taking uh moving forward um capable of standing up for ourselves protecting ourselves you know all those wonderful heroic brave essences that the divine masculine has and he is there to protect the divine feminine right if that's what he so chooses to go into a relationship. Not everybody, though, um, is in relationships or has relationships. So then he uses that to protect his divine feminine within his own self, to call her out, his soft side, his gentle side, his nurturing side, the side that wants to plant seeds and nurture them until they grow, correct? Yeah. And we all have that in us, all of us. We have divine masculine, we have divine feminine. Um, actually, uh, me doing my tarot card readings and reading right now is a part of the divine masculine, just pushing forward and doing it. That's the action I take to progress further in my life, right? So let's see what the archetype is. Oh, gnosis, gnosis, wow. To me, that means, you know, learning or, or um, gnosis, knowing, 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 a knowing, a knowing. Let me look. What number is that? I can't read backwards. 50, 60, 75. Gnosis. Noses. Noses. 75. 75. There it is. Innermost knowing, mystic truths. True knowledge is not found in facts and figures and scholarly books on library shelves. Rather, Gnosis points to the deep and timeless archetypical wisdom that rises from the felt experience, the things you feel of having touched the unknown with every one of the senses. Those who are drawn to Gnosis find themselves in historic studies likely involving mysticism and alchemy, healing, or perhaps science. Knowing is their calling, not knowing is their job description, no matter how far the alchemists take their studies. They come to the ultimate conclusion that facts slip toward mystery, and soon the mystery results in facts. This card signifies a knowing that is life-changing once you experience it. You are forever changed and become a guardian of Gnosis. The eternal mystery is calling you. Study your passion in the deepest ways available to you. Con contemplating the mystery unanswerable questions innermost knowing those who say they know don't those who say they don't know know very profound huh knowing that inner knowing that you feel within yourself that pushes you towards you know the things that you want to experience in your life. Um, mysticism. I love the mystery of the spirit. You know, I love it. I, I'm always seeking, looking, searching. 
We have expansion with Jupiter. And we have two, um, you know, this is a collaboration too. This could be, this is also um, uh, the, the, you know, the two, the divine masculine and the divine feminine. And we have Scorpio, you know, which always sing, sim, symbolizes to dive deeper within thyself because uh, there's things in there that want to be known by your soul, want you to know these things. Now, what things? Um, this is about expansion, allowing new knowledge and allowing, you know, your, your borders to broaden and allow new unknown things in that become knowing, right? Okay, let's get a couple uh, charms, guys, divine masculine. Yeah, you, we have the intuition to know things and feel things. Something beyond what is, what we consider real, right? There's something beyond, and we call that spirit. We call it soul. And in all actuality, what it is, is bringing the spirit and the soul together because they are two different things. The spirit is the fire that burns within you, and the soul is what you feel within you, that feeling. And in order to feel sometimes, we got to clear out excess energy and we got to make five minutes for ourselves to get to know ourselves you know talk to ourselves feel ourselves we have the ever shining sun strength courage love for self and that's where it all starts, right? When you love yourself, when, when you're interested in something and you love something, you begin to investigate it and see what it's about. And this is learning about both sides of you that you're, you can be brought into a whole. Your gentle, nurturing side, as well as your brave um you know, tough side, your brave action taking side. And then if you set down five minutes, that's setting with your divine feminine side, right? I have a hard time setting, but this is where you, the four leaf clover, you're going to find peace in the darkness that's within you. God wants you to make peace with what is within you to forgive, to love yourself. And you see, that's going to be like a four leaf clover for you, right? God wants you to find that peace and love. The white cross to find your purity and innocence if you haven't already, because you are just as pure and innocent as anyone, as any human. You know, we, doesn't matter if we're male or female, we all have good and bad traits. You know, the feminine isn't such an angel all the time either. And the divine masculine isn't an angel all the time either. But there is no sense in anybody believing either or aren't capable of attaining that mystery that is within them. It just takes, you know, joining in matrimony with both sides of yourself and allowing both dimensions through. That, you know, this cross, when I see the cross, when I meditate, I actually make a cross. And um, I like for my top of the cross to go all the way to the highest of my north node. And I actually make a cross all the way down to my south node so that I can see what's going on from the top of the spectrum to the bottom. 
And then I cover the horizon from the east to the west. And I actually stand as a cross in my position while I'm meditating. And I allow this energy to flow from the top all the way to the bottom and from the east to the west that I can feel and be what I need to be. You know, the cross to me doesn't always mean what a lot of people think the cross means. This means to just cross the expanse, to to cross over into the expanse of the universe from the top to the bottom, from the east to the west. And and lean in to those mysteries that sometimes aren't always what they seem, right? And find, look at these chakras. Yeah, light your chakras up. See, that's, that's how I see our energetic system, right? Right there where the cross crosses over is where the heart's at, right? Where the arms are. And so our chakra system, lighting it up, keeping it clean, you know, pure, you know, innocent, loving, kind, and gentle. Yes. And it doesn't matter if you're a divine feminine or a divine masculine. You can do these things to your own suiting that to where you're comfortable You know, some people, it's all about being comfortable with who you are and where you're at and happy. Happy about you. To be happy inside of you. To know that you have done the right thing for the right reasons for you. Because you can't do the right things for the right reasons for others because they don't know. You, You can't feel what they know or what they want. And if they can't explain themselves, if you don't, you know, if you don't have the gnosis of who they are to know it, you you won't ever be able to make them happy if that's what they want from you is to make them happy. Because we all have to make ourselves happy, as difficult as it is, right? It's hard to grow up to the age we are now, you know, 40 and plus, and then realize, oh, shit, it's my job to make me happy. Now, what makes me happy? And beginning to look for that. So let's look and see where the Divine Masculine is uh, getting his knowing, his gnosis, his feeling. This is the archetype. So let's see where his gnosis is going and how he feels about it. Okay, Divine Masculines, I love you guys. Please like, share, subscribe, hang out with me more often if you can. I appreciate it. Okay, what is this Gnosis standing for? What's it telling us? And we are moving into the future with this reading because the future is where it's all at. We can't find nothing in the past that's going to, you know, really propel it or make us happy. It will propel us to the future though, right? Right. Oh, Divine Masculine. We have Aries, or um, I'm sorry, Mars and Capricorn. You're fired up. This is Earth and Fire. And you are learning something new. You are collaborating with someone. You are getting ready to create something. And whatever it is, you're uh, very diligent and looking over it. Um, This could be, you know, the three stars here. I could take that as you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Mother, right? Um, collaborating here on your life, getting ready to um, make a plan for for a direction that you're looking forward to heading, a plan. Hmm. And this right here is all about gaining gnosis too, huh? Knowing, 
knowing as you go along in your plan if this is the way you want it looks like you're getting ready to build something and this could be working on yourself building a new you too right between you, the Holy Spirit, the Father, you know, the Mother, the Father Spirit, and you, just as well, right? Learning more about yourself, learning about who you are and what you love, the Hierophant message, learning about what you really love in life and desire, making a plan for your future, Okay, <laughs> celebration, celebration, <laughs> and collaboration. This could be with family. This could be celebrating uh, with your spiritual team. This could be whatever, but there was success with the collaboration. And so um, you seem to be we got three, three here, that's master numbers. So you are mastering this collaboration between your divine feminine and your divine masculine. You are mastering it and and becoming a whole, when you, ma- when you bring your divine feminine and your divine masculine, that's that angel that's over top of Gemini, right? You, you get this angel that begins to watch and protect you, your own, um, your own, whatever it is, I'm not sure, I call it an angel, um, but it's an additional energy that comes together after you have combined and alchemized and balanced your divine feminine and your divine masculine, you become this whole other creature, a whole new person, um, a multidimensional uh, lit up. That bird tells me there's a message. You got ancestors watching over you. Um, it looks like you completed this era, and there's two the sign of Gemini and the masculine and feminine. As you can see, both sticks on either side is what I'm thinking. You got the world in your hand and um, the spirit over you. The new spirit, the new world, the new way. Your new way. Your new way. You have uh, completed a cycle. You have celebrated. You have brought your divine feminine, your divine masculine together. And now the world is in your hands. You're in a whole new spirit and you're moving forward. And you're watching to see... You're waiting for things to happen. You're making choices right now. Choices that will change your life. You're walking away from any kind of, um, you know, you just left a situation behind, perhaps. Job, relationship, um, a situationship something about yourself I don't know but whatever it is you have decided to leave it behind and move forward into this new better place no more waiting no more no more waiting You'll not wait no more for whatever you were waiting for. You are now moving forward and going after it. So the waiting would be the divine feminine. And that's okay. Maybe you had to wait while you were, you know, perfecting that side. But you are no longer waiting. Now you're moving forward and away from whatever the situation was. I saw the white cross. Wow, move into a ten of pentacles. You left it all behind. Whatever it was, you left it behind for family. You left it behind. You decided to change and come towards your family. 
or create a family. Um, a dynasty is actually what that is. That's probably owning your own business and, um, you know, your own home, uh, happy marriage, happy kids, happy grandparents, happy puppies. I see it. I can see it. I can see it. Yeah. We all want that. Praise God. Yeah. Truth, honorable, honorable, honorable. That's the white cross, the spread across the universe. You don't need to understand yourself. That the more honorable and truthful you are, the more you love who you are, the more your family loves who you are, the more you love your family. Family is very important during certain... Listen, family is important during any age. But we have certain needs that we have to, you know, it's the knowing within us. Sometimes there's certain stages of our life where we do certain things. This is that stage between 30 and 60, you know, where, where we really want to make something beautiful in our lives that will last, you know, something beautiful in our world that will stick around and feel like heaven, right? A place to come home to, a place to reside, a place of like-minded people, a place of acceptance, a place of love, a place of peace, a place where we can come home and, you know, they have open arms for us and we have open arms for them. Everybody wants that. That's the dream. That's the dream. And man, does it take a lot of work, right? It's a kick-ass job. Like that job, like you should get $100 an hour for that job. And if you do it right, it's 1000 okay? Because that's how rare and difficult it is to achieve this kind of family. It's unfortunate that so many people have to work so hard today that they can't invest, you know, a couple hours a day in the family. That don't happen no more, does it? We're lucky to have a meal together and then even a movie. It's the family just don't come together like it used to. Not all, not all the time. As we grow older, you know, they grow up the family does and moves away so enjoy your family while you have it in your world uh oh guys all that hitting the there we go okay let's get us another deck so we have this beautiful family here in this world we got the world card after that or the world is dreaming of making these beautiful families, maybe Mother Earth, you know, however it is. I have always dreamed of beautiful families. Like, you know, I never was somebody that wanted to grow up and have a big career. I was, I was the little girl that got taught about the fairy tales. I wanted to grow up and have a family that was going to be my end all be all of life. And it don't always work like that. So we have to, what, what, what am I trying to say? We have to be realistic a lot of times because something like this is a miracle. And if you can create this in your life, it is a miracle. And I congratulate anybody who can get the emotional, financial satisfaction, gratefulness. This is a, that's about just feeling grateful for anything and everything that you get. And which is a good practice for all of us. Six of water. remembering good memories, happy memories, just feeling the past, 
but we can't live in the past, right? This is about, you know, reflecting. See her reflecting, looking through her world, the shadow world that she's already lived. And so maybe you guys are doing some reflecting, looking through the past, looking through your world, um, coming to terms, I hope, with situations, feeling the feelings, knowing the knowings, and allowing the emotions to flow and release and let go. Yes, page of water, walking on water. You are not allowing your emotions to get you down. You're not sinking down into the waves of confusion or disillusion. You are literally feeling your emotions, calming the waves, calming yourself. And uh, this is a lot of love of self too, Divine Masculine. You're really showing yourself some honor, love. You're giving yourself some peace. Giving yourself time to think, maybe alone. Water, feelings, emotions, knowings. That's knowings. Water is all about the heart and what you're feeling in it. Feeling and knowing. Emperor. You're an emperor energy. Beautiful. Leader, calm, cool, collected, understanding why you make the decision as you do, knowing what you're going to do after you finish and complete one project and then your next step into your next project. This has got a plan. You've got a plan and you're planning it out step by step by step. <laughs> Pretty cool. Fiery energy, Aries. Uh, the moon is in um, Aries today. Yes, the moon is passing through the fire sign of Aries. Ha, huh. Ace of Air, that'd be the truth. You're in Aries energy right now. Leadership, action, fiery. Um, if you guys feel a little fired up today, that's what it's all about. We're, we're right there. We're right there with um, the moon is in Aries. And the sun and the moon are sextile each other. And um, the moon is in sextile also with Venus. So, and we are in the astrological sign of Aries. So a lot of fire. And we've got some air here verifying that. What else? Ten of air. Whatever you've been going through, it's the end of that situation. And you are now at, at, at the end and beginning anew in your life. There will be no more. You've got yourself set up here and you look pretty good and you look beautiful and you look sharp. Because after all these emotions we come through, we get the fire, the ace of air. So you're sharp. You got your sword. You got your fire going. You got your emotions going. And we got the earthy, earthy. So all your elements are grounded and fired up. And your waters are moving. Your emotions are moving. And look at that. You're manifesting the life you want, Divine Masculine. Manifesting that which is good for you. Well, what else do we have to say about that? Other than namaste, Divine Masculines. I love y'all. And uh, if I seem a little weird today, it's just because I've been hanging out with a bunch of babies, okay? Some chewini poos. <laughs> love y'all. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you. Bye-bye.